Here's everything you need to know for this Aloha Wednesday. It's K Joanne to go. Joe and two weather, Chevy Chevalier. 651 on this Wednesday morning, partly cloudy skies. We have uh, the low clouds and uh, just a very few windward Malka showers across the island chain. Not much to be concerned about uh, if it's falling at all. So very light stuff in the higher elevations for the big island. A couple of windward showers for Maui County and for Oahu, the same situation. Not looking at a lot of rain and it's not coming over to leeward sections as it did yesterday. Just a lot of moisture in the air this morning. Might get a, a better chance for rain showers tomorrow morning. Quiet looking uh, dry as well. So uh, that's what will be up, up and down with the moisture content uh, through the week. 5 to 10 for your winds right now. East, northeast, they'll go up to 15 to 20 with gusts, possibly up to 30, maybe even 40 for windward portions of uh, Maui County. Extreme with your UV index. That's the only concern with the beach forecast. Otherwise, dodging clouds to get that sunshine. 11.5 uh, for your extreme uh, UV index. Small craft advisory until 6 p.m. Friday for the areas shaded in pink there. So uh, be aware of that if you're going out on the water next seven days. Uh, just a few changes, maybe getting windy Sunday into Monday, but I'm starting to see, and I know I'm being optimistic here, a slight chance for some showers Tuesday through Thursday. So hopefully that'll come to fruition. We'll get some widespread showers to help the drought situation. By the way, I have the drought update will come out tomorrow and I'll share that with you. I'm not very optimistic about it being any better anyway that's your weather forecast and now for your surf uh, we go to gary good morning gary hey good morning chevy well small waves up on the north and west shorelines flat to one and better for paddling diving fishing and sailing and kicking back on the beach out in town it's flat to a foot and a half maybe a couple two footers it's tiny next week's going to be pumping so hang on we're looking at one to two foot mush at diamond head sandy's and mako pu'u top in the list up to three feet and looking like fun sandbars we've got trades filling in 15 to 25 by late morning. Small craft advisories for the eastern half of the state, and this will last through the weekend. The high tide, 11 o'clock, going low, 3.30. Tides are flat. Sunset, 7.17, and rising six minutes before 6. Here is today's Need to Know. Former state lawmaker Jay Kalani English has been sentenced to more than three years in prison for accepting bribes in exchange for legislation. Both he and former state representative Ty Cullen pleaded guilty back in February. Honolulu police are investigating a drive-by shooting on the H1 freeway early Monday morning. The victim, who was not hurt, says he has no idea why he was targeted. No arrests have been made. The rail project gets an extra $70 million from the feds. It's in addition to the remaining $744 million being provided for Hart's recovery plan. That plan ends the route at the Civic Center in Kaka'ako. And a big congratulations to Hawaii's team mindset. The 14 and under pylon squad won the seven on seven national championship this past weekend in Chicago. The boys from Kapolei, Nanakuli, and Eva Beach went a perfect 6 0. The suspect in a mass shooting at an Illinois 4th of July parade is expected to make his first appearance in court today. Robert Cremo III is charged with seven counts of first degree murder. On Oahu, two townbound lanes on the Like Like Highway will be closed today so that crews can perform maintenance work. This is from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. from the Wilson Tunnel to the H1 Freeway. Governor Ige just signed several climate and energy bills into law. This includes one that requires the amount of electricity state departments use to be tracked and reported to the public. And the city of Honolulu is letting Seagull schools stay where it's at for another school year. Crews will then need to make repairs to the parking structure that the school sits on top of following extensive water damage. Well, you might have noticed lately, mango trees filled with fruit. And it's apparently the season that keeps on giving. Cheyenne Sibley explains. It seems like every mango tree is filled with fruit this season, even if they haven't in the past. I spoke with a number of people who had mangoes in their yard, and they all agree. Uh, yes, this has been an unusual season that we have had mangoes, but at the same time, our tree is over 50 years old, so any time we have any mangoes is a blessing. This mango tree behind me is quite large. When I spoke to the owner, he said about 50 mangoes drop a day, and this season in particular, they won't stop dropping. 
Many of the mango owners don't know what to do with all that mango. And some... We appreciate the tree because it, it's some, something that, you know, people look forward to. And we felt badly that there were often, there weren't mangoes to share. So this year we were able to give a few people whom we haven't been able to share with for a number of years. And some owners even have trouble keeping others off of their property. But why is this season so good? A lot of the fruit production is dependent on rainfall and temperature. So if the trees got exposed to enough cold during the winter and then had a good flush of rainfall uh, or good rainfall during the flushing period of the tree, then that would stimulate good flower production. Once the flowers have bloomed, they only need a little rainfall for the fruit to grow. If there's too much rainfall, the flowers will get a disease and die. For more information on fruit production, visit our website. Cheyenne Sibley, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. It's a delicious problem to have. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because my sister gave me some from her in-laws. So sweet and delicious, and I'm mango season. Love it's it. It's so refreshing, and that's what I love about living in Hawaii, too, is because, you know, you always get from neighbors, coworkers, uh -huh. and then you pass it forward again, mm -hmm. and I love mango season. Oh. <laughs> and that was your morning news. Find all these stories and more on KHON2.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Then tune in right back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. for everything you need to know with KHON2GO.